Hello there people, this is Christian, welcome back to my computer and Fusion 360 and these striped cables or striped wires I want to call them. This is uh, just a simple appearance, this is nothing about modeling, I've just created three splines here and run pipes, uh, the pipe command along them to get the these pipe bodies and then apply some appearance to them. You might have done some model and yeah, it's a lot of work doing cables. I mean, but you want something to look good, and when you and when you want to add some type of appearance that makes the cable looks a bit more realistic, not just one plain color. And we want stripes. Uh, this is basically the same uh, workflow, all of them. This is a, a custom appearance, so we can make it perpendicular. So it's a perpendicular, the white and blue here, perpendicular to the axis of the uh, cable or we can make it along the axis. You can see there is a small twist here. It's due to this being a 3D spline and the face of a 3D spline is always twisting slightly and the appearance will follow that. And we can make like the green and yellow here. There is like a twisting motion around. It's the same, basically the same workflow. So I have a new design here. I just made a simple pipe here. This is a five millimeter pipe running along a spline. So you need to adjust the dimensions if you want to do this. Uh, step one, start up, I'm in Windows, I'm going to start up the beautiful uh, Microsoft Paint. Now I'm from Sweden, so all the menus are in Sweden for you who are confused reading on the screen right now. Uh, anyway, step one, what to do, I do uh, Entra Stolek, or in English, change size. Uh, it's, this is already the correct size, but I like to change over to this here, this is pixels. So I select it to be 200 by 200 pixels, basically any shape, not too large because it makes it easier just to draw things. We need some type of square, not too big. Hit OK and down to right in paint we can zoom in. Step one, we're going to need two colors. So let's say which color is going to be used. We have a light gray cable, so we're going to fill the background with light gray. And then we're going to have a purple. Yes, we're going to do a purple box. We're going to make a rectangle, we're going to fill it in with single color. So we need to make both of these the same color. You can use any paint program you want. I'm just going to make a simple rectangle. Make it so it covers all, like that, take it all the way up, yes. Of course, uh, here you can slightly change the uh, ratio between the two colors. So let's see, I want to make a, a narrow gray stripe or you want the purple violet stripe to be uh, the narrow one. So we're going to do it something like this. I'm pleased with that. Going to save this. You need to save a file in the place where you can find it and you cannot, uh, you can see I have done some other ones here. Uh, gray violet, something like that so I can find it again. So we are saved the file, going into Fusion. Hit A for appearance. Now we need to edit a uh, built-in appearance. Come on, can you close down. So what I normally do, uh, you can stay out here, scroll all the way down and select wood, not wood solid, take wood and use the first one, that's bamboo light. I'm just going to simply drag it up here, right click and select edit. This is where we're going to change the appearance of everything. Uh, this was uh, going to change the name immediately, gray Violet, I don't know how you spell it in English. Uh, click the advanced button down here. We get this image here and have here you have on the premise you have an image. We're gonna click that, you get a new window. I normally like to expand this window because it's a bit too small to read everything like that. And the important thing is source, this is a bit strange because you have no notification, but if you move the mouse pointer over, you can click on this. And here we can change the image we use. It's going to just use gray and violet. Use open. So that's step one. You can see here in the image we have a dimension here. So this we are looking in the vertical direction now. The horizontal we don't care because it will just simply tile the pattern. You can see right now the pattern is 457.2 millimeters, and that's too much. So I'm going to down on scale. And just use some type of number that makes reasonably to the dimension of the cable you have. We can use scale later to find adjust things. I'm going to do it 20. Click on other dimension. These two are linked, so they're going to follow. So we get 20 by 37 plus 7. That's a useful dimension for this. I'm going to click done. I'm going to click OK. 
and our little uh, icon updated and it's called gray violet so we're going to just simply take this and drag it out to the body and it will now be applied because we made the uh, pattern of an image this image we did in paint we did it in a vertical direction fusion will wrap it around in this direction so that's good uh, you can see it sometimes it does some interesting thing you get to end the spline so you, you're gonna get full control but you of course you can go in here you can change the scale maybe you want more of them or you want less of them that's an easy one so done so that is perpendicular to the orientation of the cable you you will get some distortion this is a fast one how you can do now let's say you want to make it aligned with the uh, cable you simply change rotation to 90 degrees and something you can say okay we get this uh, I want more than two so I'm gonna edit and reduce the scale until fusion understands to put more than one line on it yes we have multiple lines so you can do some playing around here you know we want the look of your cables uh, I'm gonna go back gonna change this to 50 again that's where we start off and we're gonna change the angle here now to something like 60 degrees and we now get I'm gonna move around we now get angle stripes but they are not lining up here I want these to line up so what I do I start to change the scale normally I start downwards and try to find where somewhere where they're close to lining up that's a good one uh, let's see if we can find which direction we're moving we are moving i try to change like the decimal point and see in which direction we move we are moving away so we're going to start with 47.5 47.5 47 oh that's good so you can see you can change the scale and the pattern moves around 47.5 system good it's going to do done there's probably more uh, magic behind this that you can use so this way you can like get like uh, a pattern that is helically swept around the part still some distortion here due to the shape of the spline but so this is just for something if you want to flavor your renders or your model with something interesting to keep things separated so that's a custom appearance for a cable take care see you around and goodbye